In English, it is two blades length. Okay, and it is a general method for the square root. Okay, so before going to uh, deal with Dwanda uh, Yoga, we have to learn two place concept first. Okay, in squarings. What is the duplex mean? Okay, so duplex of any single digit at any place value in the multiplication or in a square, the value become a square. So duplex of two digits, then we are taking double of two into AB and duplex of three digits. So first we are taking corner numbers as a one pair and after that, whatever alphabet is remaining there, that is the alphabet we are taking. So this is now look like above two examples, that is two blocks of AB. In this case, we have two blocks of AC, corner number that will be AC. So two AC we are getting, and here we are getting B square. Single digit always, it becomes square. Suppose four digit if you are taking, four digit, okay. Not a number, total number, four digit I am talking. So first we have to take last two corner digit. So that is two A D plus remaining two numbers that is two B C. And the duplex of A B C D E is there. That is five digit I am taking. That means five, five places. Okay. So this will be two A E. Two digit combination. Next to two digit combination will be two B D, and uh, after that we are left with only C. Single digit means A square, so it is now C. Then it is becomes C square. So this is the duplex concept. We are already deal with this uh, duplex. Okay. Right. In the square root, we are using this one. Okay, we are using this. That is the reason. Again, I have written all the things. Right. Suppose look at here. In the square root, only two steps are very important. One will be subtracting duplex value. Whenever subtracting the duplex value, immediately we have to do division. So this is the two things are involved here. Only two things. Subtracting duplex value and after that division. So these two things are involved in the general square root method. Okay. Right. What are the those steps? Let us see now. We know that a plus B whole square. So that is nothing but duplex of A. After that, duplex of AB we are taking. And duplex of C we are taking. So that gives us duplex of A is A square. And duplex of AB will be 2AB. And duplex of C will be C square. Okay. Now, I am finding the square root of a square plus 2ab plus 
this. Okay. okay. Now let us see how to find it. We know that answer it will be here. Square root of a plus b whole square. So square and square root will be cancelled out. A plus b we are getting. Okay. But in general, look at here. First, we have to subtract duplex after the division. Okay, that is the concept. So, a square plus 2ab plus b square. Observe very carefully. Now, we have to select such a number and that square is equivalent or less than the a square. Are you getting my point? We have to select one number and find its square. That square is equal to a square or less than the a square. That means the first digit I am selecting here, a. Okay, that is the first digit we are selecting. After that, immediately, duplex of a we have to subtract. What is the duplex of a? That is a square. Immediately, if you are getting remainder, this remainder will be carried forward. Okay, and that means we are taking multiple of them. In numbers, it will be different, but just to follow the process. Okay. After that, immediately I said that we have to do uh, division. When you are subtracting the duplex value, immediately we have to do the subtraction. Sorry, division. division? Look at here. What is the answer of this question? A plus B only. I already got here A. From this, I can get, these are my words, I can get B directly when it is possible. When it is possible, whenever you are dividing this value by 2A, the second term I am talking about, then if you divide this value, then automatically you are getting the B value. Is it correct or no? Yes or no? So, what we understand from this, whenever your first digit you are selected and you are subtracting duplex from this given number for the second step it double of this number double of this number is working as a device note this point for the first digit whatever first digit you are getting that will be work as a device double of that digit will be work as a device so finally we get, we got a plus b okay that is our final answer. Let me take here a different one. Suppose a, a plus b plus c whole cube. So sorry, whole square. So that gives us a square plus 2ab plus 2ac plus b square. After that, 2bc plus c square. Okay. Now look at here. First, we have to select one digit. That is a, a digit I selected. Immediately, we have to do duplex. Find the duplex. Duplex will be a square. So I subtracted. I got zero. Okay. I got zero. Remember, remember one point. Whenever Remainder will come that will be carried forward in the memory. Okay. Right. So, in the next step, from this, definitely we can say that we are getting B value. For that B value, we are dividing this value by the 2A. So, our divisor will be here 2A. Why I am taking this is the main divisor? I will tell you. You don't bother. I will tell you. Wait for that. Okay. Right. Look at here. So from this, I got here B value. See, first step, duplex is completed. Second step, division also completed. Again, these steps will be repeated. Okay. These steps will be repeated. That means in the next step, I want to subtract duplex value. Are you getting my point or not? Kiska duplex lena hai? Ko pahile baat. Kiska duplex hai lena ki? Suppose, look at this part. If I remove here B square, then that means duplex. 
if I subtract duplex, that is B square, then immediately I am getting 2AC. If I do division, if I division by the 2A, then I am getting C value. So my A plus B plus C, I got a SR now. Are you getting me a point? So first, we have to find the duplex, then division. Again, duplex, again, division. Again, duplex, again, division. Okay? It is clear? Yes, sir. Right. And remember one point here, another point. The second duplex, I find it out. Did you see here? The second duplex. Okay? Suppose for the next place, I will take duplex of BC. Why? Because directly this value will be cancelled out. Are you getting my point? So, from the B onwards, we have to take the duplex. Digit by digit, no. Continuously, we have to take it. That means, duplex of B we are taking. Then I see God. Then duplex of BC I want to take. Suppose any other digit will be comes out here. Let us assume. Then duplex of uh, BC question mark. In this way, we have to take the values. After B onwards, not A. These points are clear or not? Right. So now look at, let me take here some example so that we can understand very easily. This maybe someone I'm getting noise. Right. So, square root of 4, 8, 4, 6. Okay. Right. Look at now. Observe very carefully, everybody. 4, 8, 4, 6. In the duplex, when you are dealing with numericals, we have to take two, two pairs from the unit place digit. How many pairs comes out? it indicates that many digits will be there in the solution. That is before decimal. That is whole part. What is indicated that whole part? The pairs, the number of pairs is equal to number of digits in the whole part. Why? Because we don't know whether it is perfect or not. We don't know. Number of Digits in whole part. Okay, this is the point you have to note it. The number of pairs, two digit pairs, how many pairs you are selected here, that is number of digits in the whole part. After two digit, after two digit, we have to put the decimal. Okay, right. Observe very carefully. Now tell me. Okay. Now tell me, which perfect square number is very nearest to 48? That will be 6. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, this value becomes 12. It is work as a divisor. Okay? Right. See, duplex value, I subtracted from this number. Then how much I am getting? 12. But these 12 is carried forward. In the numerical, every remainder will be carried forward. See, my duplex is completed. Okay. Then next value will be division part. Yes or no? So what is the divisor here? My divisor will be 2 -L. So how many times you can take here? Maximum 9. So you can take nine times. Are you getting my point or not? So nine times of 12. How much? That is 108. So 108 I want to subtract here. So minus 108. This is the division part. So then how much I am getting? 
60. Okay. This is the remainder. So this will be again carry forward. See how many times? Nine times I select. My duplex is completed. My division is completed. Again, these steps will be repeated. In the next step, again, what we have to do? Take the duplex. Duplex of 9. So, duplex of 9. That is 81 we have to subtract from this value. Okay. Then how much we are getting? Here it will be 5. And uh, it will be 8. See, duplex value is completed. Next, immediately what we have to do? Do the division. So, divided by 2. Okay. Divided by 2. Then how much we are getting? What is the possibilities? 7 times will be 7, I mean, 84. But 84 I am not taking at present. Why? I will tell you later. Why? Because this is the very smallest number. Okay. Whatever I written here, please observe very carefully. First point, number of pairs is equal to number of digits. So this is our whole part. After that, you have to put the decimal. So after that, you are getting decimal value. Is it clear? So here I am not finding the decimal value. Please wait until I will find the values. Just you uh, see the steps, what I am doing. Suppose, right, square root of 7, 9, 4, 6, 8, 2. So 7, 9, 4, 6, 8, 2. Right. Now look at here. First pair, second pair, and the third pair. That means after three digits, we have to put the decimal. So the first two pair. So which perfect near, nearest number is there? For which number? That is 8. So 64, we have to subtract from this number. Then how much we are getting? It will be 5, 1, 15. So that 15 will be carried forward to the next place. Okay. So what is the divisor here? 16. 16 is the divisor. So duplex is completed. Next step will be division. So how many times you can take? We can take here 16 into 9 times suppose. What is the value? 1. 44. So 144 I want to subtract from this number. Then I got 10 remainder. So look at here. And this will be carry forward. So how many times I take it? 9 times. See, duplex is completed. Division also complete. Next, again what we have to do? Duplex from this digit. Okay, duplex. So duplex of 9. Duplex of 9 means 9 square. That is 81 we have to subtract. 81 I subtracted. Then I am getting 5. Here it will be 2. 25. Okay. So I subtracted duplex. Then immediately division will be there. So divide the value by 2 well. Okay. So divide. Divide the value by the 2 well, then how many times you can take? How much chance will be there? So in the 16, only one time will be chance we have. Only one time. So I am subtracting 16 from this number. Then how much I am getting? It will be 9. So see, this value will be now carry forward. Now see, duplex is completed and division also completed. Then immediately what we have to take again? Duplex. So duplex of com com combined numbers we have to take from second digit onwards. Then it will be 2 into 9, nine into two. that is 18. So I, we want to subtract 18 from this digit. Then I am getting 80. So 80 divided by how much value now? 16. Duplex is completed, then 18 into, sorry, 16 my value, am I right? Yeah. 16 into 5 times will be, how much? 80. Okay, 5 times will be 80. 
suppose see three digit completed so i can put decimal here i can put zeros also after three digit that is the rule you have to remember okay when after three digit why because we have only three pairs here right now listen very carefully when the in the division 16 times of 5 will be 80 suppose if i take 80 here how many times i take it five times you look at it i'm writing five times so zero will be the remainder so this zero will be carry forward so my division is completed duplex is complete so again i want to take duplex of next combination that is nine one five is it it yes or no what is the formula for this two into nine into five that is 90 plus one square will be one that is equal to 91 so now tell me can i subtract 91 from this number it is possible no it is not possible that means you are taking more value instead of exact value so instead of taking five times let me take here four times so that how much we are getting that will be 64 so we have to subtract now 64 how many times you are taking four times so it will be 16 so now i want to carry forward 16 now see duplex of 9 count 914 so 36 that is 72 plus 1 that is 73 duplex will be 73 so we want to subtract 73 from this number so that is a 9 15 will be 8 so duplex is completed next division 89 divided by 12. So how many sorry 12 no 60. 60. So how many times you can take here? Can you guess? Five times. Am I right? But remember one thing. Simple logic I will tell you. Suppose if you are taking five times, then what is the remainder? Your quotient you are taking five times, then remainder will be 90. That is nine. So the nine is carry forward here. That is the procedure. But when you are taking four times, so look at here. This will be seventy-two, and this will be how much? Eight. Totally, how much it becomes? Eighty-eight. Are you getting my point? Sorry, you are taking five times now. Sorry, five times means just assumption. Just assumption. Look at here. This is 90 and this will be 8. So totally 98. So 98 we cannot subtract from this number. So that is the reason instead of taking 5 times, how many times I am taking here? 4 times. So that is a 4 times. 64 I am subtracting from this number. So that how, my, how much I am getting? 5 to 25. That is 25 I am writing here. So how many times I take it? 4 times. So up to so on, if, if you continue the procedure, so you will get the decimal answer. So the answer will be 891.44. This is our final answer. Okay. Let me take here another example. Suppose. Sir. Yes. Sir, I am unable to follow that, sir. Can you please explain one more time, sir? Sure, or you can do explain. another example also, it's fine. Okay, then. Right. It's a non-perfect square, uh, right, sir? Any number, ma'am. I'm not talking about perfect, non-perfect. Any number you can tell. Okay. So, 3, 1, 5, 4, 8, 7, 9. So, 3, 1, 5, 4, 8, 7, 9. So, first thing we have to find the duplex. Next one, division. Okay? This is the two steps you have to repeat again and again, again and again. So, look at the pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pairs are there. After 4 whole part digits, we have to put the 
decimals. Okay, right. What is the last pair? Last pair, what is that? Three. Three. So last pair will be three here. So which is the perfect square is very nearest to three. that is one. One square. I subtract it. See, first step, duplex. One I selected, duplex of this value will be one I subtracted. Then I got two is the remainder. This will be carry forward. Is it clear or not? So duplex is completed. Then I got 21. 21 divided by 2. Why? Because double division. Again, we have to find the division. Duplex and division. Duplex and division. So how many times we can take? Here it is very, very important. Observe very carefully. Suppose, okay. suppose we are taking nine times. How sir, many times? This two, how it has come, sir? Here, this two. This, this one. Which, uh, yes. When you are joined, can you tell me? Abhi joined ba, pahle joined ba. I just joined now, sir. Whatever first value you are getting, just to double it. Okay. Okay, fine, sir. Right. Suppose nine times you are selected. Observe very carefully. Nine times. So 18 I subtracted. Then I'm getting three. So this three will be carry forward. See, duplex and division both are completed. Next again, we have to find the duplex of nine. That should be subtracted. But here, 81 we cannot subtract. So nine possibility is not there here. So that is the reason. Let me take 8 times. 8, that is 16 I am subtracting. Okay. So now I am taking 8 times. Then 5 will be remainder. So that remainder will be carry forward. Even. So then duplex of 8 we have to subtract. That is 64 we cannot subtract from this number. So 8 also is not suitable here. So how many times you can take now? That is 7 times. How many times? 7 times. So 8 also completed. Now I select 7 times. That is 14 I am subtracting. Then I am getting 7. So this is the 75. Right. See, two steps are completed. So duplex of 7 we have to subtract. So duplex of 7 we have to subtract. That means how much we are getting here? Duplex of 7, 49. So that is 6, 2, 26. So duplex is completed now. So division now. That is 26 divided by 2. So how, how many times you can take now? Uh, again, if you check 8 times, 9 times, like that, then 7 times will be exactly suitable. Okay? So 14 I am subtracting direct here. Then how much I am getting here? 2 L. So this is 12 will be carry forward. Look at now. This step is completed. Again, duplex of 7, 7. So that gives us 49 into 2. That is how much? 98. So we have to subtract 98 from this number. So that 6, 11 will be 26. And how much I am getting? 20. 6. Okay. Then now 26 divided by 2. So how many times here possibility is there if you look at check the all the combinations. Right? Because my next duplex value must be subtracted. Suppose let me take here uh, 7 times. So look at here this will be 98 and this will be 49 duplex. So then I am getting 147. So 14, if you are subtracting, then you are getting 128 only. From 128, we cannot subtract 147. So that is the reason, instead of taking 7 times, let me try here 6 times. So 6 times means 12. Then I am getting 14. So here I am taking 14. Okay. Like two blacks are 7, 7, 6. So this value will be 42 into 2. That is 84. And single digit will be 49. So that 133 we are getting. 
So 133 I am subtracting here. So 133 I am subtracting, then 5, 15. Okay, how many times I got here? 15. Okay, okay. Right, look at me. Very, very important point. Now see, I already told you, after four digit, we have to put the decimal. Look at here. One, two, three, four. We have to put the decimal and we can put the zeros here. How many zeros you want to put? That many you can. Right? Again, same procedure. So, duplex is completed. Now, division. So, 15 divided by how much? 2. Now, this is the very, very important task. Why? Because in the next step, we are considering all the four digits for the duplex. Isn't it? Yes or no? This all, all the duplex value we have to subtract from the next value. Look at here. This is 42. 42 means 84 we are getting. Whatever value if you consider here and if you add it to this value, that must be subtracted from the whole value whatever we are getting. That is the task now. And the calculation is everything is clear or not? Right. Now look at here. Suppose, let us assume here. 6 times if you are taking. Okay. 6 times means 12. So, 3 will be the remainder. So, only 33 we got. But I already look at here from the previous digit, we got 84. So, 6 times we cannot take. Now, suppose 5 times if you are taking, 10 subtracting and 5 will be the remainder. But from the before digit, I got 84. Here, I got 57 only. It means we cannot subtract. So, let me take 4 times, 3 times, 2 times. If you go like that, only one time will be suitable here. So, then I am subtracting 2 here, only one time. Okay? Then I am getting 13. 13 is a very bad. Now, see. You selected here how much? 1. Now, look at here. This will be 84 I retain. And this value will be 14. So that 98 I want to subtract. So the next duplex will be 7, 7, 6, 1. That equal to 98. So I want to subtract here 98. So 98 I want to subtract. So that 9, 12 means 3. 39. Now 39 divided by then how many times we can take? That is a question. So from the three way DCD we observe duplex are 7, 7, 6, 1, something question mark also we have to include. So this value will be 14 means 28. Middle value 6. That is 6, 36. So totally how much we are getting here? 64. So the value not less than the 64. That will be mostly suitable. Suppose if you are taking 9 times, okay, if you are taking 9 times, that is 18 I am subtracting from this. So, 18 will be the remainder. So, let me take care 8. So, let me write 9 here. So, this will be 63. 63 double 126. So, that totally I am getting 180. Now, look at here, 180 is subtractable number. 180 is subtractable number. So, I am taking now duplex of uh, that number, that is duplex of 7, 7, 6, 1, okay, 9. So, that is 180. I want to subtract from this number, but then I got 9 times, sorry, 90. Sorry, I, I no, 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 I, I did wrong actually. It is not 18, it is 21, but yes, it is 21. So that 39 will be the my final answer. Are you getting my point? So we can say that here 1776.19 will be the my final answer. This procedure will be continue, continue, continue. Where you stop, it, you can decide that. Okay. Right. Let me take here another example. Suppose, 
Square root of 77 I want. What is the value I want? 77. Only one pair I have. It means after one digit of the whole part, we have to put the decimal. Look at here. Okay. First, double x value. Let me take 8 times. That equal to 64 I want to subtract. So 64 I subtracted. Then I got how much? 13. See, first digit I got. After immediately we have to put the decimal. Why? Because only one pair we have. So when you are putting the decimal, you can place the zeros like this. How many you want? Then you continue the put. So 13 will be carry forward here. See, division now. 130 divided by 16. The double of 8 will be 16. So that will be our divisor here. So how many times you can take here? 16 seven hours. Eight just how much here it will be? One twenty-two. Actually, one twenty-two you can subtract. Okay, one twenty-two is subtractable number. Okay, that means eight times. But you are getting eight only. I did correct or anything wrong? Uh, sorry. Uh, it will be one twenty-eight. One twenty-eight means two is the remainder. But next value will be duplex value 64 is there. So we cannot subtract that value. So instead of uh, taking it uh, 8 times, let me try 7 times. 7 times means 42, 4, 11. 1, 1, 2, 11. So I want to subtract 1, 1, 2, 11. Okay, observe very clearly. So 8 will be the remainder. So this is the remainder will be carry forward. So 7 times I select. Now look at here. Duplex of 7 we have to subtract. That is 49. So 49 if you are subtract here. So that how much we are getting? Here 11. Sorry. 1. 7 means 31 will be the our remainder. So see duplex is completed. So immediately next value will be division divided by 16. I did anything wrong? Yeah. Yes, I did wrong. Why are you writing a mistake? Tell me a little bit. How much is the remainder? H. 28 is the remainder. Okay. So just we want to subtract double x of 7. So that is Sorry, 18. 18 is the remainder. Right. 49, we have to subtract. 49. So that is 1. 7 means 3. 137. So again, 137 divided by 16. So again, let me take 7 times. That is 1, 1, 12. So that it will be 9. 19 will be the remainder. That will be carry far. See, again, duplex of 7, 7, that is 98 we have to subtract. So, 98 I subtracted here. So, 2, 18, 92. So, now 92 divided by 60. So, if you take 4 times is exactly suitable here. So, 4 times how much? 16 4 are 64. So, 64 if you are subtracting, then 8, 28. So, 28 is the remainder. Now, look at here. Duplex of 7, 7, 4. So, it will be 49 and 28 double. 56. Okay, so that 15, 105. So 105 we have to subtract. 105. So 
then 5 Hello. Hello, sir. Sir, point से पहले के duplex अलग मानते हैं मतलब उसके बाद जब हम decimal place कर देते हैं तो जो decimal से पहले वाला duplex number है उसको नहीं हम count करते sir नहीं करते उसका reason क्या है कि मैंने algebraic में बताया था जी algebraic proof में when you are taking double of two ये okay ठीक है वो value continue होते जाते हैं इसलिए हम उसको consider नहीं करते पहले decimal उसके बाद जो भी डिजिट आते हैं उसको हम डुप्लेक्स में मान के जाते हैं सेकंड डिजिट फ्रॉम द सेकंड डिजिट डेसिमल है नहीं वो उसका कोई रिलेशन नहीं है फ्रॉम द सेकंड डिजिट ऑनवर्ड्स वी हैव टू टेक डुप्लेक्स एज अ न्यू नंबर फॉर द न्यू नंबर ऐसा हम लेके जाना है जी सर ओके सो 16 टाइम्स ऑफ 9 दैट इज 144. So 144 we can subtract here. 144. So I can say that here 8.7749 will be the our final answer of the square root of 77. Okay. Right. Let me take here another one. Suppose square root of 2. What is the value? 1.7. This is the value. As per test rules. So try to find out the value of root 2 now. Okay. Right. Observe very carefully. 2. So first let me take 1. I'm subtracting duplex of 1. That is 1. See. Only 1 pair we have. So after the decimal of 1. After 1 we have to put the decimal. Then you can put the zeros. How many zeros you want. See, duplex of 1 is completed, that is 1 I subtracted, then 1 will be the remainder, that is the carry forward here, okay, that is the carry forward, so that immediately division, so 10 divided by 2, so 5 times, sorry, I did correct the property, then 10, so how many times you can take here? Uh, not Sorry, it is root 3 value. So 1.14 uh, is a root 2 value. Yeah. So suppose if you take 5 times, here you are taking 5 times means you have to subtract duplex of 5 will be 25. Yes or no? Here you are getting remainder 0. That means you, you take 4 times, that will be fine. So 4 times, that is 8 times subtracting, 2 is the remainder you can take here. Okay, right. Now duplex of 4. So, duplex of 4 will be 16. So, I am subtracting 16 from this number. Then I got 4. Now, 4 divided by 2. So, 4 divided by 2, you have to take only one time here. Then only the next combination will be possible. So, 2 is the remainder. Right. Next. Duplex, only one time I take. So, duplex of 4, 1. So, that will be 2 into 4 into 1. That is 8 I want to subtract from this number. Then I am getting 12. So now 12 divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2, you cannot take 6 times. Why? Because next combination subtraction is not possible. Let me take 5 times. Even though if you take 5 times, then also it is not possible. Why? Because if you are putting the 5 here, so this value is almost 40. If you take 5 times, you subtract 10 from this number, you are getting 2 is the remainder there. You are putting here 2. But already we got here 40. From 20 we cannot subtract 40. So that is the reason. Let me take here how many times? 4 times. That will be sufficient or not. We have to check. So that is 8. 4 I got here. Right. Complete. Now. Duplex of 4. 1. 4. So that gives us 32 plus 1. 33. Yes. I can subtract 33 from this number. So that how much I am getting? 7. 
of 7 divided by 2. So that gives us 6 times if you take not possible. So let me take 2 times. So then 4 will come here. 2 times I am supplied. Yeah. So 3 is the remainder. Let me write 3 here. Now, two blanks of 4, 1, 4, 2. So that gives us last two digit will be 16 and the middle will be 8. So totally 24 we have to subtract. So 24 if you are subtracting then you are getting 8. If you continue this procedure then you will get many decimal digits. So this value will become 1.4142. So this is the final answer of this question. Is it clear or any doubt? Please ask me right. Pratipaji, Mannaji, Rima, Roshni, Agarwal. Anji, sir. Any doubt? No, no sir. Doubt, clear. No, sir. Clear. Right. Last example I will take. You tell me any one number. See, observe very carefully. So far, whatever problem I selected, I don't know whether they are perfect or not. Yes or no. So that's the reason I'm continuing the procedure after decimals also. I'm not sure whether it is perfect or not. Suppose given number is perfect. Let me give one number, perfect number. Any digit. Perfect square number, please give. Perfect. Perfect number. 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 Perfect Yeah, question Six double two five two one. Six seven two. Six double two. Five two one. Six seven two. Six double two. Five two one. Six seven two. Five two one. Five two one. Five two one. Right. Look at now. This is a perfect square number. We know that. Okay. Only three digit answer will be comes out here. The first procedure, look at here, 62 is the first pair. So, 2, 5, 2, 1. Observe very carefully. Same procedure I'm using here. So far, I explain you the steps. This time, I'm not doing explain you the steps. Okay. So, let me take 8 here. Okay. How many times? 8. 8 will be how much? 64. So, from 25, uh, you cannot, uh, sorry, 62, you cannot subtract that one. So, let me take how many times here? Seven times. Seven so fourteen times. is the minus sign. So that is fourteen, and if I am subtracting thirteen, will be the my remainder. So I am writing thirteen here. So divided by fourteen. So divided by fourteen. Let me take here eight times. So that will be uh, thirty-two eight. So that will be one one twelve. So I got twenty here. So that is the remainder I am writing here. Okay, how many times I selected eight times. So that is, I did correct or anything wrong? Correct. Yes, correct. So uh, I want to subtract 64 from this number. So 1, 1, 4 will be there. 141 is the remainder. So 144 divided by 14. So let me take 9 times 1 and uh, 14. So 9 times that is 126. So 126 you can subtract. 126. So then 5, 15, 13, one. 15 is the remainder. I got here how many times? 9 times. Now nine listen times. very quickly. This may upon put 3 digit answer to Anna. You keep perfect square number. Isn't it? Yes. Right. So my answer will be 7, 8, 9. When they are given perfect square number. How many digits you want? Only three. 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 Only 
परफेक्ट का मतलब कैंसिल तो होना है समझ में आ रही है बात सो so, आपको कितना डिजिट चाहिए उतना तक फाइन आउट कर दो वो आंसर हो जाए कब वेनेवर परफेक्ट स्क्रीन नंबर इज गिवन राइट आई डोंट नो वेदर इट इज अ परफेक्ट और नॉट ओके आई डोंट नो देन इमीडिएटली आई विल पुट द डेसिमल हियर एंड 15 इज द रिमाइंडर सो आई विल सबट्रैक्ट द डुप्लेक्स वैल्यू दैट इज 140 144 if i am subtracting then 8 will be the remainder 8 divided duplex of 8 9 uh, this time we have taken duplex of 8 8 9 na ye eight no ni maine bola na pehle yaha se shuru hone ke baad first term complete hone ke baad jo bhi duplex rehte hai wo na second digit lena hai combination leke jana hai bol ke bola tha ji theek hai So eight divided by fourteen, you can take zero time. Only possibility. So sir, eight sir, one second, one second. Sir, uh, can you please explain this one forty four? How you got it, sir? So till this I got it. So two plus so of two eight. Two plus eight. Four. Nine, that is seventy two into. So from two. where you have to start this, sir? Eight uh, combinations. One baad me pehle pata tha. Suno. Suppose ye B C D आ गया ठीक है पहला स्टेप में पहला स्टेप में जो भी ए से ऑपरेट करता है ना ये दो स्टेप्स में हो जाता है ठीक है उसके बाद उसके बाद हम हाँ, फिर से डुप्लेक्स ऑपरेट करना पड़ेगा कहा से करना पड़ेगा बी से लेके करना पड़ेगा पहले बी लेते हैं उसके बाद बी सी लेते हैं उसके बाद बीसीडी लेते हैं ये को इंक्लूड नहीं करते हैं ये को क्यों नहीं इंक्लूड करते हैं उसका रीजन क्या है कि हम डुप्लेक्स वैल्यू सपरेट करने के बाद हम उस ये को डबल करके डिवाइड कर रहा है देख रहे हैं ना इधर आप उसी लिए उसको हम इंक्लूड नहीं करते हैं वो मैंने आलजिब्रा में आपको क्लियर कट एक्सप्लेनेशन दिया था आपने आलजिब्रा प्रूफ देखा कि नहीं So the next duplex will be duplex of H nine zero. That is eighty one only. Then I'm getting zero is the remainder divided by fourteen. So zero times I'm taking zero is the remainder. Next zero is the remainder. Next duplex will be duplex of H nine zero zero. Then I'm getting zero divided by fourteen. Then also I'm getting zero here also zero. The next duplex value will be eight nine zero zero zero. आप देख रहा है ना? So this is the duplex of eight. So this is the duplex of eight nine. The next duplex of eight nine zero eight. इसी तरह आता है. कब से? From the second digit of the answer. Is it clear or not? Right. Suppose the given value is a perfect value, then after decimal every time you are getting zero 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 zero, then you have to decide it is a perfect square number. Clear my point? Yes. Right. फिर से आपके लिए मैं एक बार algebra proof को extend करके class को stop कर दे. ठीक है? Right. A plus B plus C plus Whole square. So, what is the answer of this one? A square plus two AB plus two BC plus B square plus two AD plus two BC plus two BD plus C square. Two A sorry, C D plus D square. Now tell me everyone. You have to tell me everyone why because सबको इसमें doubt है ना उसलिए आप सब लोग मेरे को answer ही देना पड़ेगा. पहले क्या value लेना है तभी मेरे को A square cancel हो जाता है. A 
राइट मैंने ए ले लिया लेकिन ए स्क्वेयर आना ना इधर इधर तो ए स्क्वेयर आना है इसका मतलब क्या है हम डुप्लीकेट ऑफ ए फाइंड आउट कर रहे हैं फर्स्ट टाइम जी इसलिए मैं हर बार जो भी इधर क्या डिजिट लेते हैं उसका मैंने स्क्वेयर ले रहा हूँ अब समझ में आ गया जी तब ए वैल्यू कैंसिल हो जाता है जीरो कैरी फॉरवर्ड हो गया नौ ये वैल्यू तो आ गया नेक्स्ट क्या आना है बी बी मेरे को इसमें तो आ जाता है ना क्या करने पर बी वैल्यू मेरे को आता है ए में बी की मतलब क्या करना डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए टू ए कहा से आते फिर ए का डबल हाँ उसी लिए मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ डबल ऑफ दिस नंबर आई एम टेकिंग एंड दिस इज आई एम वर्किंग एज ए डिवाइजर सो इफ आई एम डिवाइडिंग दिस पार्ट देन इट विल बी कैंसिल आउट सो आई लेफ्ट विथ बी सो दट इज द बी वैल्यू आई टेक इन हियर ओवर आफ्टर दिस स्टेप ओवर सी आई गॉट न्यू डिजिट बी नो ऑब्जर्व वेरी केयरफुल इन हाउ फ्रॉम दिस वैल्यू आई वॉन्ट टू गेट सी सी आने के लिए मैं क्या करना है बताइए सॉरी इट इज नॉट बी सी इट इज ए सी पहले तो बी स्क्र को रिमूव करना है ना ठीक है बी स्क्र को निकाल दिया फिर मेरे को टू ए सी बचा फिर टू ए सी में आना है टू ए सी में सी ए आना है इसका मतलब अगेन आई वॉन्ट टू डिवाइडेड बाई ए टू एन आई गेट सी सो माई सी आंसर इज के मीन डिजिट ओके ओके कुछ इसको छोड़ दो क्योंकि ये परफेक्ट स्क्वायर नंबर है ना इसमें एक रिदम रिदम मैटिक आता है उसलिए मैं नेक्स्ट स्टेप कंटिन्यू नहीं कर रहा हूं अब ध्यान से देखो दिस इज बी स्क्वायर इज नथिंग बट डुप्लेक्स ऑफ बी दिस इज नथिंग बट डुप्लेक्स ऑफ बी बी सी ओनली नाउ सी आफ्टर व्हिच डिजिट यू आर कंटिन्यू लुक एट हियर बी के बाद बी को ले रहा है उसके बाद BC को ले रहा है उसके बाद ये सब वैल्यूज को कंसिडर कर रहा है बात समझ में आ रही ना कहा से शुरू हो रहा है फ्रॉम द सेकेंड डीसी ओके ये वन ए टू ए क्या हो गया ऐसा यहाँ देखो क्या हो रहा है ये डिवीजन में चले गए लेकिन एक बात सुनो टू ए सी डिवाइड प्लस बी स्क्वे If I suppose I divide this value by two a directly, then this value, this value cancel out. I will get c value. But what about b square by two a? ये तो गलत हो जाता है. Answer तो नहीं आता है. उसलिए what we are doing, we are two a c from b square. From this value, we are subtracting b square directly. Then I will get two a c. Then if I divide it by two a. Then I will get whatever value I want here. That is C. Now it is clear where to start. Duplex. Rima, Pratibha, Roshni, Shubha, Shubha Priya, Tamma. Sorry, Manna Ji, Chetan Sir. It is clear or not now? At least. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. आवाज नहीं सुना दे रहा है समझ. समझ में आया जी सर सर यस यस हाँ ये रीजन था आई उसको हम ऐसा करने का रीजन क्या है कि ये आलजिप्रिक का रीजन है आप कर सकते हैं ना कोई भी वैल्यू देने पर इस वैल्यू को हम आलजिब्रा में भी इंक्लूड कर सकते हैं आलजिब्रा में सपोज टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई होल स्क्वे That gives us four x square plus twelve x y plus nine y square. So it is a perfect number. Okay. So look at here. If I take two x here, so that is two x square. I want to subtract. Sorry, four x square. Then it will be the zero, and this value becomes here double. 
okay it is become double so divided by 4 x then how much i am getting 3 y okay so 3 y times i am getting okay right zero is the remainder and this zero will be carry forward but in the perfect square root we are not carry forward but because we want only two place terms so i got it but how to complete the procedure that is a very important this is a very important point whenever your given number is perfect square number given number is perfect square number then we have to complete the procedure what is the procedure here look at here 1 2 3 whole square is there so then duplex of 1 duplex of 1 2 duplex of 1 2 3 whatever digit here 1 2 3 they are coming as it is 1 1 2 1 2 3 after that we are taking 2 3 after that we are taking 3 so this is the pattern we have to complete then only perfect square uh, procedure will be complete why because look at here first i am taking duplex of 2x next i am taking duplex of 2x and a 3y the second step last step i am taking duplex of 3y now see i got two digit i decided that whatever values i want they came then i want to complete the procedure so next will be duplex of 3y is going to subtract it here then it will be zero then procedure will be completed last example for three digit observe very carefully a square plus 2ab plus 2ac plus b square 2ac and c square this is a plus b plus c whole square okay how to complete the procedure uske bare mein baat kar raha hu theek hai so a square i am subtracting i got a then zero is the remainder so divided by 2a so then i am getting b the remainder will be carry forward so duplex of b i am subtracting here then 2ac i am getting so divided by 2a so then i am getting c so whatever digit i want i got it so a i selected a b i selected a b c also gave came next b c next c so here we want to subtract do sorry it will be bc okay right duplex of bc so that gives zero divided by 2a then also we are getting the zero okay next duplex of c that is c square zero divided by 2a zero this is the one procedure to complete so i am not getting this one sir then don't worry just you continue the whatever procedure i said so far just you continue that procedure what is the procedure right after three digit we are putting the decimal so combination will be here duplex of bc so that value that gives us zero zero divided by 2a then i got zero next duplex of bc zero so this value is zero so single value will be okay so that is the reason instead of taking all the values i am taking directly duplex of c to try to complete the pattern here so this value becomes zero so divided by 2a again i am getting zero this will be you can continue the procedure like it is clear for everyone everything any doubt